Welcome back to my channel. Kumusta kayong lahat? Nandito na naman ako, si Saki. May trabaho pa, so nandito ako. At, uh, wala, nagana ako dito, nagbasa-basa ng mga Netherlands books ko. Kasi, tinatago ko kasi yung mga books ko noon. Dinadala ko kung saan ako. Pag uwi din ako Pilipinas, dinadala ko din yung books ko. Ito yung mga libro ko sa Netherlands. Nilalagay ko dito. So, yan. Pag nakaupo ako dito, pag si Saki busy at nandito ako, magbabasa talaga ako. Para kahit everyday, may ano tayo, may bago tayong words na nalalaman ba? Kahit isa lang, okay na yun, ba? Yun. So, nagbabasa ako at nagtingin ako sa mga picture ba? Kung pala si Saki dito, ngayon ko lang na alala ba, binigay pala sa mama niya noon. Kasi nung first time akong pumunta dito at first time kong nakita yung mama ni Saki, sabi niya sa akin, ah, may bibigay pala ako sa iyo. Pero that, wa that was the time na uh, nagsasalita pala talaga yung mama ni Saki. No? Kasi ngayon, minsan, ano kunti-kunti na lang talaga. At may nagtatanong pala na binibisita ba namin yung mama ni Saki? Yes po, binibisita po namin siya once a week, pero hindi ko na nilalagay sa video ko, minsan na lang kasi ano ba, uh, hindi na masyadong nagsasita yung mama ni Saki, tapos pag pumapunta kami doon, ano na lang ba, mag ano talaga, muni-muni kami, mag-relax, tapos mag-usap-usap ng kunti, yun. Pero, every week talaga kami pumapunta doon. Si Saki, every week talaga pag ako busy, hindi ako makapunta doon. Pag may regla ako, hindi talaga ako makapunta doon kasi malayo ba mag-bike. Sasakit yung pusoon ko. So, yun. Bi album niya. Nandito. Natawa talaga ako. Sabi ni Saki, guwapo daw siya nung bata pa siya. <laughs> Tingnan niyo, pakita ko sa inyo. Ito yung mga album ni Saki nung ano pa siya. Bata pa. Saan ba si Saki nito? Pa, kamukha lang naman lahat yung mga Ano, hindi ko maano kung saan si Saki. Ito si Saki pala. Saki ay. Tingnan yung buhok niya. Paya talaga siya eh. Tapos ito pa eh. May picture pa siya dito. Yan si Saki nung ano pa siya. Uh, teenager na yata siya dito. Yung buhok niya o oh, parang ano. Gagyan sa bagyo. <laughs> Matawa naman ako ng buhok ni Saki niya no eh. Tapos tingnan niyo. Oh, wow, legs. 1,000 kagid siya ba. Naglalaro yata siya dyan. Ito, tingnan yung mukha ni Saki. Ito, malaki-laki na si Saki nito. Ano na siya, teenage. Uh, litaw na yata to. Hmm. Gwapo si Saki dito, oh. Tapos dyan, oh. Parang ano siya ba? Macho guapito. <laughs> Tapos ito din, nakakatawa. May yung katawa ni Saki, oh. Atot ba? Kahit anong ano niya, ganyan na talaga yung katawa niya. Tapos yung dalawa niyang kapatid. Yan, mga payatot silang tatlo. Mm. Ang cute ni Saki dito, lalaking lalaki ba ito si Saki? Ay. Mm, yan siya. Parang nag-training yata si yan ito. Mm. Ito si Saki. Ito si Saki, walang ipin. Ito yung kapatid niya. Ang cute ni Saki, oy. Eh. Walang ipin ba? Ito yung mama ni Saki, tapos yung mga kapatid niya. Tapos yung papa ni Saki. Tapos ito, yung mama niya, tapos yung kapatid niya. Tayo, kasi pinakita ako sa inyo yung mga photo. I showed him your, your kwan ba? Your, when you were still young. Oh. Your photo. Ah, I'm a bit shy. <laughs> Why? You look so cute there. Well, With I no was, teeth. Yeah, well. With I, no teeth. <laughs> for sure, I was cuter than, than I am right now. <laughs> But still, I'm a bit shy. Why would you shy? Ah, uh, yun, and then... But there's not much to show, right? There's, I don't have a lot of pictures. Cute in your photo. Mm. And father died early, right? Yeah, yeah. that's true. So, me also, I don't, I grow without father and Saki. Yeah, how old are you when your father died? Mm, not really sure. I think I must have been around nine or ten. 10 years old? Yeah, because years old. your older brother got two, two years older than you, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
So yeah. But you, at least you do have a father, but you didn't grow up uh, having one around you. But yeah. he's still, uh, he's still there. Right? Yeah, he's, he's still, still there. You, you saw him, of course. But me, um, yeah, of course, I saw my father, but I grew up without father because he have other family. Yeah. And yeah, that was a bit sad, right? Because yeah, second mother also, uh, yeah, she's alone taking care of three kids. Yeah. Four. Oh, four, yeah. Yeah. You're four? No, yeah, me and my three brothers. Oh yeah, you're four, I forgot. <laughs> I don't remember anymore because I didn't see his family very often because they live far, so you were four. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, I think you skipped math. <laughs> when you were young. Yeah, I I did. <laughs> My mother didn't get married again, no? She did not remarry, no. Yeah, the same as my mother. My mother, she didn't get married again because, yeah, the same as your mother. So, yeah, they just take care of four kids and my mother also. So, I salute all the mothers out there. I know how difficult it is. Yeah, me too. Well, yeah, when you're young, you don't think about these things. But afterwards, when you when you are an adult, you you think, yeah, that must have been a very difficult time. Uh, yeah. For 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 my mother and for your mother. Yeah. And other mothers in the same situation. Yeah. It's really not uh, not easy. And look, look what I have become. You become so. Um, look what the both of us have become. We become celebrities. <laughs> You're so no, cute. Not. No, of course, all the hardship that uh, you've been through in your life make you a better person, make you learn things in life. Uh, it shapes you. Yeah. So that's life. Life is full of surprise. That's why we just need to enjoy small to things, the max. little things. Oh, I want to enjoy to the max. Yeah, we just need around this time, we same time we need to enjoy and careful because this is the new world right now that we're facing. Yeah, and the, the new normal. Yeah. As they say. So ah, then, yeah, dinner. Yeah. Dinner we slash ate, lunch. We ate 3 30. Yeah, I kind guess. of dinner. So. PM. Yeah. Is. Now we're relaxing late and my darling is done working. Now I'm gonna make lasagna. Mmm. Oh, yeah. I'm for my, for you because you like Italian food, right? Well, I like lasagna. And me. And you as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So oh, I that's why you you dress up like a bit like Italian style. What Italian? This is not Italian. Oh, to me it seems Italian. Uh, just the, just t-shirt. Mm. Well, I imagine they also wear something like this in Italy. Oh, okay. This is the clothes yeah. now a days is like the clothes of eighties, eighties by eighties. Mm -hmm, the eighties. Yeah, same like the return. Oh. Well. Yeah. Now I'm gonna make you uh, my basic lasagna. I will show you how to make my basic lasagna. Some healing sa lasagna, John. Uh, yeah, saman yung kung mag luto. And I'm gonna show you how to lazy around. Hmm? How to do nothing. <laughs> Buwa. Just sit. Yeah. Sit back and relax. I'm good at it. Ano tayo magawa ng lasagna? But first. Ano muna natin i-boil yung lasagna sheet. The same lang sa mag-boil kayo ng ano, pasta. Nilalagyan ko pa din siya ng uh, yung boiled na water. Nilalagyan ko siya ng oil. At saka konting salt. Luto na yung lasagna sheet natin. Kaya magawa na tayo ng ating lasagna filling. Ang pinaka-hard part sa lasagna is yung bechamel sauce. Pero hindi naman very hard. Eh. Madali lang naman. chuk 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 Tapos ngayon, ito na yung meat natin. I-marinate muna natin. Oh, hindi naman marinate. Lalagyan ko lang siya ng cinnamon powder. At uh, pakita ko sa inyo. Yung gagamitin natin sa ting lasagna, very basic lang. Kaya kunti lang yung ingredients. 
ano siya, ground beef and pork mix na. Tapos, may grated na carrots. May ano tayo dito, white onion. Tapos, paprika, garlic, beef cube, tomato puree, and cream. Tapos, cinnamon. Gagalit din akong paminta. Ito yung lin natin sa ating Lagyan natin siya ng kunting uh, cinnamon. Kunti lang. Para hindi siya ma-over power. Baka ano na yan. Full tart. Hapagyan ko siya ng kunting paminta. Nabusan ako ng garlic powder. Kung may garlic powder kayo, uh, lagyan nyo. Pero, magamit naman kayo. Magamit naman ng garlic. Fresh garlic. Okay lang din. Tapos, ano natin? I-mix lang. Yun lang. Ito, ingredients lang to sa ano, sa filling ng ating lasagna. Tapos, mamaya, ipakita ko sa inyo kung anong gagamitin ko sa ating bechamel sauce. Atin yung pan. Lagay tayo ng olive oil. Yung ginagamit ko naman na olive oil is yung extra virgin. Tapos, mga rosemary na para, uh, ano ba, extra na taste. Hmm, bango niya eh. Painitin lang natin, tapos lagay natin yung ingredient. Pwede din lagay yung kamay natin, plituin. <laughs> Walang ulam ba? Kamay na lang yung ulam. <laughs> Buwang na niya. Garlic. Onion yung beef cube at saka yung paprika. Lahat na lagay. Para ano, hmm? maamoy mo agad yung ano ba, yung rosemary. Yung may Wow! Could you smell that pumpkin? Very smell, no? Smell good. Yan. Isuti mo na natin siya. Isuti hanggang mag-caramelize. Tapos itagay natin yung ground beef. Hmm, tingnan nyo. Nag-caramelize na siya. Kaya ilagay na natin yung ground beef at pork. Beef at pork and mix. Tapos, isuti-suti. Haluin. My darling, have very nice lasagna tomorrow. Hmm, naamoy ko na yung ano, cinnamon ba? Haluin mo na natin. Luto na. Hindi pa siya talagang luto. Ilagay na natin yung tomato puree. Hmm. Tapos, kukayin. Haluin. Lutuin natin yung tomato puree talaga kasi para hindi siya maasim ba. Namix na siya. Ilagay natin yung carrots din. Depende din yan sa inyo kung gaano kadami yung niluluto nyo, no? Sa akin kasi walang mga measure-measure mga niluluto ko. Ano lang? Instimate lang ba? Tansya-tansya na lang. Sa ano lang ako mag-measure sa baking para naluto na yung ano ba, yung tomato puree kasi nag-iba na yung kulay niya ba hindi na masyadong biri makula, ilalagay na natin yung cream para mas creamy yung lasagna natin ba creamy and sweet, like my darling tapos simmer na naman natin Nang, mga 2 minutes lang siguro kasi yung lasagna, ilagay pa naman natin sa oven. So. Sinong mahilig sa lasagna dyan, gawin nyo na to sa bahay. Tapos, i-taste natin. Ito na yung lasagna natin, yung filling. I-taste na natin. Kung okay na ba sa panlasan nyo. Hmm. Sobra masarap na. Pwede nang kainin nito ba? Pwede nga kainin sa rice eh. Bir, masarap talaga. Kaya, eh, set aside muna natin. Magawa na tayo ng ating bisamel sauce. Now, ito na naman yung ating bisamel sauce. May butter ako dito. Tingnan nyo. Butter. I-melt lang natin siya. 
Mahina lang yung apoy. Kuha naman tayo ng luwag. Yung ating fish and bone sauce, ang gagamitin ko dito is butter, milk, and flour. Butter, milk, and flour. And the butter. Well, ang butter pa siyang nag-meet. Magagay tayo ng flour. Mga dalawang kutsarang flour. Depende din yan sa inyo kung gusto, gano'n nyo katik. Katik yung gusto nyo. Katik-tik. Yan. Ito na. Parang ano ba? Hmm. Ganito nyo siya. Ganyahin. Kung gusto nyo pang very thick, dagdagan nyo pa ng flour. Hindi nyo minimeasure. Hindi yan marong. Hindi yan marong. Kasi ganyan naman ako maggawa ng bechamel. Hindi ko man minimeasure yung nilalagay ko kung gano'ng kadaming flour, butter. Basta wag lang masyadong madami. Tingnan nyo. Maglalagay na tayo ng milk. Mga 1 cup of milk siguro ilalagay ko. Ganyan. 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 Uy. Lagsik. Kulang pa. Nagdagan pa natin kasi mga ano pa yan mamagtik. Mga 1 and half cup of milk nilagay ko. Ganyan yan lang. Hanggang hanggang magtik. Kaya very ano talaga itong magawa ng bishamil ba? Hard work. Kasi ganyan ka hanggang uh, magtik siya para wala talaga mamumuong flour, ganyan. Ganyan na. Pakita ko sa inyo pag ma ma ano na siya. Uh, malapit na siya matapos. Na siya. Pero kung gusto niyo na okay na to sa inyo na little bit runny, okay na yan. Kung gusto niyo yung very very thick, nasa sa inyo din yan. Madali lang magawa ng bechamel, di ba? Kunti lang yung ilin niya. Butter, flour, tsaka milk. Maglalagay ako na ang Uh, cinnamon nito para may kunting taste ba cinnamon lalagay ako ng kunting paminta para may taste naman na kunti yung ating uh, bechamel and kunting salt kunting salt Okay na siya, kaya mag simbol na tayo sa ating lasagna. Ito na yung cheese natin, yung bechamel sauce, at yung ano, meat. Yung uh, lasagna yes. cheese natin. Maglalagay ako dito ng cheese sa ano. Ito ang ginagamit ko para katapos kain tapos. Si Saki, gusto niyang very cheesy. Like me, I'm very cheesy. No? <laughs> Buwang. May pahabol pa yan. Tapos lagi ba? Tapos maglalagay tayo ng isa. Ano. Depende yun sa inyo kung paano nyo uh, asimbol yung lasagna nyo. Sa akin, ganito. Tapos, yung meat. Bango ng meat. Uy, masarap ba? Kasi ano. Ito siya ng cheese. Para cheesy ba? Nasa sa inyo din yun kung gusto nyo yung very cheesy at hindi. Hmm. Masanya sheet. Tapos, ito. Hmm. Tapos, cheese na naman. Cheesy! Hmm. Tapos, may kunti pa dito ba? Ibusoy na lang natin to. Ipotolin. Lagay na natin sa ibabaw. Wala na sayang man ba? Kung sa iba ba, maglagay tayo ng bechamel sauce. Hmm? Very thick yung bechamel. Uy! Eh. 
Yan lang, hanggang matapos. Nalagyan na natin yung bechamel. Kaya lag ang sa ibabaw, syempre, maglagay tayo ng cheese. Para i-bake na natin sa oven. Ubusin na natin. Tapos na yung lasagna natin. Tapos ko na yung lasagna. So ngayon, i-bake natin siya sa oven ng 200 degrees. About 30 minutes until mag-golden brown lang siya yung ibabaw ba. 30 to 40 minutes. Depende din yan kung gaano kainit yung ano noon. Yung, yung oven nyo. Kasi yung oven namin, hindi na very mainit ba. Noon, yung bago pa, very mainit. Ngayon, luma-luma na. Hindi na siya very mainit. Amin, hindi namin ito kakain, kakainin ngayon, no? Kasi mas masarap kasi yung lasagna pagka bukas na lutuin mo ngayon. Tapos bukas mo na kainin kasi yung mga flavor talaga bang mag soak together. Tapos ilagay mo siya sa ref overnight. Tapos yan, pagka bukas mo, i-bake mo siya ulit. Ilagay mo siya sa microwave or sa oven mga 10 to 15 minutes. O, masarap siya basta. Mas masarap talaga. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me dyan. So ngayon, i-bake na natin siya. At babalikan ko kayo mamaya pag maluto na. Naluto na yung lasagna natin. Tingnan nyo. Wow. Yan. Tapos yung isa. O, oh, nandito. Gusto ko siyang tikman ng maliit. Mm, naluto na yung lasagna. My darling is here. Kasi yung lasagna is cooked already. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. It looks delicious. I'm, I think I'm gonna try a little bit. If it tastes okay. But I make this before also. And it tastes yummy. I don't think it's too hot. Uh, of Big course, taste. you don't need to eat when it's hot. You need to, we, we taste it. Hmm, mm, smells good. Look. Hmm, yeah. The cinnamon, you can really smell oh, the yeah. cinnamon because when I make the bechamel salt, I put a little bit of cinnamon. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, you're supposed to put cinnamon right, in the bechamel sauce. Yeah, but if you don't mm. need to, you don't need to. Just depend how you make your lasagna mm. because every people have different ingredients also it's my way of making it yeah. mm. Nice. How you like it? Mm, nice. Like it? I will try it myself a bit. Mm. But we're gonna eat this tomorrow. Because the longer you rest the lasagna, the more taste. The, yeah, the better it becomes, huh? Yeah. So that all the flavors will mix. Yeah, how did you know that? Yeah, I know about cooking. Hmm. Theoretically, I'm a chef. Practically, the, I'm, I'm a beginner. The, the bechamel is so creamy, smooth, <clears throat> yummy. Tastes really good. Please try this at home. It's very tasty and very simple to make. And it's not a lot of ingredients, no? Yeah, and especially around this time, we stay at home. So better we cook also. Ourselves. Ourselves. Mm. I always cook. Anyway, I think that's all for today's video. My darling will go take shower. And me too. I'm gonna watch movie. And if you like this video, please consider subscribing. And I would like to see you again. So. Yeah. And thank you so much for watching everyone. Please click the notification bell. Para updated kayo every time we have a new video. And like share and subscribe and comment we appreciate each one of you we read all the comments and thank you so much for the love and support every single day thank you so much stay safe god bless you everyone and see our next video bye bye Mwah. Mwah. bye, bye.